My name is Lauren Ross, and I am a botanist. I'm a professor at the National University of Colombia in Bogota. My current research is focused on the diversity and uses of wild yams, especially in the New World tropics. Wild yam turns out to play a central role in the history of the development of the modern uh, oral contraceptive pill. The first pills were made from synthetic progesterone that was made from starting material that came from wild yams from Mexico. So it turns out that a lot of wild yam species have high concentrations of a naturally occurring chemical called diazgenin, which when you tweak it in the lab um, can be cheaply and efficiently made into human progesterone and other human steroids. So the real industrialization of uh, drug making based on plant products begins with wild yams. And today we're seeing in our markets in the United States, uh, especially in a few other countries around the world, a lot of products, wild yam products being sold, marketed especially to uh, women for relief of menopausal symptoms. So if you Google wild yam, you'll get over a million hits, mostly to commercial products related to uh, relief of menopause. I became a botanist in part because of this place where we are right now, where we're standing in, in the New York Botanical Garden. Um, when I was a college student, I had an internship and I was able to uh, select any place in the New York area where I could work uh, for a summer. And through a connection um, with one of the professors at the university, I ended up here at the New York Botanical Garden. And the very first time that I walked into the herbarium, I just felt at home. I just knew right away, this, this is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is where I'm supposed to be. And yeah, it's uh, <laughs> the best choice I've ever made. <laughs> Every time I go to the field and I see a new plant family or a new genus, something that I've never seen before, I've only read about in a book or only seen a picture, seeing for the first time in the field, every time it happens, for me it's very special, very exciting. <laughs> Climate change uh, does actually have some direct impacts on my work in that when I go to look for plants, for example, um, a lot of times I might plan a field expedition based on what I would expect the flowering times to be because I want to try to find these plants in the field and then once I actually get there they're not flowering when they're supposed to be flowering so that obviously will have a big impact on, on my ability to collect information about those plants. <laughs> Biggest challenge facing botanists today is uh, having the opportunity to get out and document all the plant diversity before it goes away before it either gets chopped down or goes extinct. So we feel in a lot of cases that we have a limited window of time to describe plant diversity uh, because there are so many threats to it. Technology has a vastly uh, improved my access to information, um, efficiency with which I can organize and uh, conduct my research. It has huge impacts. Um, just about in every way possible, from collecting information up until communicating the finished product at the end. So in just about every possible way. <laughs>